soon. Yeah, we have it. Yeah. Right, soon. It's the Gilas, GLE. 850 horsepower. In this SUV. And what's interesting with this one, it's apart from matte carbon fiber parts, it has some. The whole this is in matte carbon fiber, but it has uh, some green details in the interior. It's like lime green, dark, but then lime green. Even the lock buttons and the Bang Olufsen, and they even retain the text. Incredible. Nice. And what I really was interested here is, you see here, this is leather, and this is the torque curve. You can even see, or power curve, 850. Talk about attention to detail. Here is green. The paddles are green. All these details are green. Even the pedals are green. Somebody likes the green accents. Look even the speaker here. Rear entertainment, small version. One thing I notice is that even you see the kind of iDrive-ish green, but also the logos are green, the fine leather logo. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Speedometer goes to 320. <laughs> that's really cool. It is, it's like, you <laughs> see the details, it's like a green. Yeah, that is really cool. Uh, and here, this is leather, and even the logo, wow. um, 850 horsepower, the, the power curve. Wow, that's cool. The back seat suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Have a look. Very Thank cool. The that attention is... to detail is incredible. Yeah, that's super cool. I thought it was cool. So, I found a nice SUV. It's a Brabus GLS. They're really big, usually seven seater. GLS 63, facelift GL. And it has an 850 horsepower package. It says 850, and it has beautiful carbon lower diffuser with an F1 style brake light, sharp LED. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and 850 horsepower. And you have gloss carbon here. 850 logo there and Brabus huge brakes. I kind of like the style of these wheels. It's platinum edition, one of the forge. And as you can see, it's locked. Brabus logo here. Rosé gold interior. And What's new with 850 logo? What's new on this one? It's reclining rear seats. So, and also you can heat your cup here, either hot or cold. And these large two seats you can fold all the way back. That's kind of a new thing. Here you can see this cold or hot or cold for the drinks. Why not?
So I would like to go in and show you the reclining seats, but it's locked. I'm gonna ask for them to unlock it at a later point. But you steer this, that from the console here. And you could fold the seats all the way back. Really comfortable. And it's an 850 horsepower GLS, which is pretty incredible. We need to look again on the front. The gorgeous clear carbon front diffuser that you not yeah. would like to scratch. So let's have a look at the Gelende bag after this. So we have the classic G63 with the 850 horsepower kit. And this is very nice with clear carbon parts, clear carbon here, clear carbon here, clear carbon grill, clear carbon from yeah, hood. And the telltale Brabus slides. Gishmite wheels, clear carbon here, this whole part in carbon. Notice the LED lamps here and completely custom interior with light blue LED lights which is configurable of course but also light blue piping. Robus 850 logo here. Fine leather of course. They probably ventilated the seats as well. And you have this adjustable suspension here. And rear you have the special seats, which you can fold. And you just see the roof. And you have the special Brahms console here for the seat, to recline the seats. And you can see the carbon is a special like, chess kind of pattern. And all the floor is covered in carbon as well. And no, it's not carbon, another. Nice LED headline. Here, clear carbon details. Lots of top fibers from the panel goes on top of the existing Swap out. This is a new thing. This is like the 6x6 LED. That's interesting. In carbon fiber. The caps here. Clear carbon. And the list price of this with the 850 horsepower package. Even though it's not a V12, it's about 400, 450,000 euros, I would believe. It's a fairly low key interior, I would say. I've seen much more special interior. 850. That's all for now. So we have the Brabus, Maybach, S600 based, V12 by Turbo. With the dual screens, leather everywhere, you see even leather on the floor. The floor is leather, special pattern. And uh, nice 
Brabus pillows with Brabus logo. Here even have you have the special Brabus menu. It's a Brabus, so the speedometer goes to 400, of course. B color wheel, Brabus fine leather. Very nice the stereo. And uh, dual screens. Here you have compartment for cooling. Cold, hot. And this side it has gorgeous wheels. It's more sporty wheels. It's difficult to see now when the doors are open than the other side. So it's a V12. Fine. No V8 850. This is 900 horsepower. You can see the Brabus Maybach specific grill. On this side it has other style of wheels. I'm not so sure about that. Dual color, gorgeous comfort, and you always also have a LED screen. You see, or night? What to say? Gorgeous. Master high end audio and the speedometer goes to four hundred. Because it's a Brabus. And it's Brabus fine leather. And you can see that on the interior. <coughs> see how Heat is reflected by gold, therefore we have golden parts here. And here it's the torque curve is reflected here in the So sitting next to grandfather 300 SL Gulving. So I'm gonna take a look at a few other Brabus models. So we have the Brabus Adventure. 4x4, so it's based on the G500 4x4, but with some adventure things on. It's really interesting suspension. You have the step plate to make entrance easier. Special interior and a special pattern. And a regular Alcantara headliner. Looks quite brutal. So if you want 120 
125 horsepower in your smart, the ultimate 125 could be it. I actually like the wheels, the wheels look really great. Look how small the spokes or thin the spokes are. Wow. Special color for sure. And over there we have the Bugatti CEO. So we have the StarTech and Taiga, which is actually Brabus owned customizing like refinement of the Bentayga, so it's Brabus quality refinement of the Bentayga, which is difficult to how do you do a Bentayga better? But you can see this double stitching here, here. Very luxurious, soft close as well. Exhaust looks aggressive. Check those out. Wow. With the F1 style brake light, as we saw on the GLS. Yeah, why not? Make Cupentiger sportier. 